Hey, what is up guys? Colossinex here. And uh, when I had this idea for a video, I was not in a silhouette, so I apologize for that lighting. But anyway, I was on YouTube and I'm watching my YouTube videos, getting my daily fill, and this ad popped up on my YouTube video. Maybe you've seen it, it's, it's this one. How come they don't teach us the right way to get in shape? How come even when we stop eating carbs and start doing more cardio, we eventually hit a wall and stop making progress? It's this YouTuber who, man, it is dark. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Even with the light, it's not better. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna... Anyways, his name is V Shred. Now, this guy already has a bad rep because he's been busted, he's been caught stealing other fitness YouTubers' content. Literally a mirrored video of V Shred stealing a tutorial from Athlete X. Okay, this is just one example. There are many examples of this guy. So I haven't even bothered to do much digging into his channel because, you know, he's been busted. I'm not gonna go into it. You can watch your own videos on V Shred stealing other people's content. That's fine. The point is that this guy doesn't have an original idea in his body. If he does, he's hiding it by the fact that he's he's not producing his own content, essentially. So this guy comes up with this ad. It's a paid ad that begins at the beginning of YouTube videos. How come they don't teach us the right way to get in shape? First of all, who is they? Second of all, it depends on where you get your information from. How come even when we stop eating carbs and start doing more cardio, we eventually hit a wall and stop making progress. Why would a fitness expert ever claim in a paid advertisement that cutting out carbs is the solution to losing fat? That shouldn't be the go-to and if it doesn't work, there's nothing wrong with you. How come it feels like some people can eat anything they want and still look great while you gain a pound from just looking at a restaurant menu? This is a classic setup for somebody trying to sell you something. He's trying to relate to you. He's trying to tell a story. Not that that's a bad thing. That's just how people market. I'll tell you why. It's called somatypes. And I didn't just make that word up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Did he say somatype? It's called somatypes. Somatypes. Yo, buddy, are you gonna... Can you, can you see me? Are you seriously gonna make a YouTube video about body types and pronounce the word wrong? It's called somatypes. Oh, somatotype. That's what you're trying to say. Somatotypes are the body types. You've probably heard me talking about them. There's three main body types, ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. People usually fall into one of these three categories. Well, it is pretty definitive that you will land in one, three of these categories. It's a bit of a spectrum because you might fall in between a couple of them. It's kind of a bit of a range, but wherever you fall in this range, you're gonna be either in category one, two, or three, essentially. This word was introduced to the public by in the 1940s by Dr. William H. Sheldon, who was the professor of, the, of medicine at the University of Oregon Medical School. And while speaking on the subject of this professor dude, I, I don't know who this guy is. So I googled uh, somatotype, and that's the, the, this guy's name came up in, in the second line of the first search on Google. But as the YouTuber Every Damn Day Fitness has already explained to us. Uh, but this doctor was a psychologist. He wasn't a medical doctor uh, in any way. This guy probably hasn't done much research beyond a catchy Wikipedia tidbit of information. And later became the director of research at the Biological Humanics Foundation in Cambridge. This guy has made an ad for YouTube that is going to play in front of millions of people and I th it looks like he just kind of did it in one take. You know what I mean? This word was introduced to the public by in the 1940s by... He corrects himself here, but he just, he's just like, nah, just play it, just, just keep it rolling, we're doing one take. And then as he's trying to get the professor's name right and, and where he's going to university, he's kind of like, he's pausing to like, think about it. Who was the professor of the... Of I don't know if he's actually, he's like doing this on purpose so that it looks like he's pausing to like dig into the depths of his mind and bring up the research that he's brought up. Or he just, uh, he couldn't remember and his buddy just like held up the name like, Dude, it's, it's William! Because then he like catches himself and says it again. 1940s by Dr. William H. Sheldon, who was the professor of the of medicine. I don't know, this whole ad felt very unnatural. He, he's trying to be like a human and relate to you so that he can sell you his program. And yet he doesn't, he's not, he's not e even able to do his own YouTube ad. Man, I'm like winging it in this video. And I feel like I've put more prep into this than this guy has for his YouTube ad. His research has been used for many, many years to help people understand their bodies. Man, this music is, it's firing me up. His research has been used for many, many years to help people. So what I figured out was a way to use his research and create a modernized tool to make figuring out your somatype and getting your dream body easy. I. V Shred have single-handedly figured out how people should work out based on their body type. You were born a little bit differently than somebody else? You're in luck because I, V Shred, have 
cracked the code in human biology. I myself have figured this out. Brand new information, never before seen to the world. If you have a slow metabolism, boy, do I have a surprise for you. A calculated approach that has been proven by science to work. Science! Did you hear me? Science! So there's a button around here somewhere on screen. If you guys like my YouTube video, uh, click the like button. It's uh, it's somewhere around here. Where did, I can't remember. Where did I leave it? Here, hang on. Just give me a second. I'm gonna go look for it. Around here somewhere on screen. Somewhere around the screen. Man, that's okay if you're just making a little a funny comical video. But you gotta you gotta talk to your editors, man, before you make this video. You gotta decide. And most likely the editors can adapt. If you say down below, they're gonna put it down below. If, if you say up above, they're gonna put that link above. So what's the point of this video? I don't know. I don't usually make YouTube videos to knock other people, but I mean like this is someone who's trying to make money off of you, and he doesn't really demonstrate that he knows what he's talking about. He hesitates when he speaks. He's already been caught for stealing other people's content. Guys, I know you guys are going to be seeing this YouTube video up around your YouTube, maybe your Facebook. I would just encourage you to hesitate before you click on any link because I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and uh, please, let's, I don't know what my best angle is, please subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel grow and I would appreciate it. Klaus next out.